Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you'll have just come back from the I bleach me hair tie video and you'll know why I'm standing here looking like this. Otherwise, if you're just new here, welcome. My name's Karen. I like to dye my hair. I do plus size clothing hauls and other videos. But this video is dyeing my hair pink. Um, so today we're putting a semi-permanent colour in carnation pink. So this is the carnation pink colour. This is this is semi-permanent. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the semi-permanent on the bottom half of my hair. And then over the top half we've got this Midnight Rose, the guy tan, 5M off. So this is permanent. So I'm gonna be mixing this with I think 20 ball maybe. I got this off Amazon and I'm sure there were four for 14 99 I could be wrong. I'll I'll put it on the screen if I can remember. But you get four of these little pots. They're about the same size as the Manic Panic pots. So I probably will use all four of them. But my hair feels my hair feels really thick because I've just bleached it. So like if, I mean it is quite thick anyway, but um I think we'll start with we'll start with the top of the we'll go with the, the bottom. Yeah, we'll go with the bottom first, I think. Probably easier. So, we'll section out the hair, and I'm sure, I'm sure you just put this on. So this comes in loads of different colors, but I asked Luke to pick us, pick us a color, and this is what he went for. It looks like slime. You know when you get a slime and that's what it looks like, it's just, it's luminous. No idea how this is going to take. Right, so I'm just going to section my hair out. I'm just going to put it in my hands. And then, so I've just sort of sectioned the back of my hair into two parts. I'm just going to run it through. We'll see what it, see what it goes on like. So I'm just going to, Take some and pour it onto me. Uh, I don't know how bright it's gonna go. I hope it covers the brassiness actually. Because my hair was left pretty brassy. Actually, I didn't even need the instructions if it needed to go on wet or, or dry hair. I should check the instructions. Well, there is no instructions. How to use. Do not mix with peroxide. Don't use an eyelashes. Don't use. Do not use shampoo with conditioner included. That means don't use two and one shampoos. Should colour enter the eyes, rinse immediately with water. Wear gloves at all times. We recommend before using the colour, a strand test is carried out. And that's all. It doesn't say whether you should put it on wet or dry hair. Well, started so I'll finish. It doesn't even tell you how long to leave it on, but actually, I've just thought about that. It doesn't say how long to leave it on for. The instructions are quite vague. So I'm just gonna leave it on like, I don't know, half an hour. I've got a feeling some of the brassiness of the blonde in my hair is going to show. It's not going on as bright as I thought it was. I wonder if that's because my hair's not like bright white. Right, 
I'll try and take another section. I think I should have maybe started from the top. Yeah, I can still see like the don't think you can see the orange oranginess in me hair as I'm putting it on. Got a feeling that's just gonna stay like that. I'm just hoping it uh, moisturizes it a bit because it's so dry. I'm going to have to Google the, um, see if there's any more instructions to see how long you leave it on for. So I'm on to my second, got a little bit left of my second pot. So it looks like I'm going to be using three pots. I guess if I was doing all of my hair, I'd probably need four. But the point is putting this on the dark part of my hair because it won't change colour. I hope it's not going to stain as much as Manic Panic because you want to see the state of the sink. Little tip, open these before you put your gloves on. So I'm on to my third pot now and this is my last section of hair so I don't think I'll need another pot room. Right, so I've plopped it up on top of my hair. I hope I've got the back. I missed a section the last time I did my hair. I'll probably leave it for about 40 minutes. I'm going to have a Google and see if I can find out how long you're supposed to leave it for. But, I don't know. But, we've got a bit of a mess here, like. See what I can show you. Yeah, so we've got, we well, have got a bit of a mess here, but if you don't get into this kind of mess, there's something wrong with you. Anyway, I'll see you when this is dried, and then we'll come back and I'll put the permanent midnight rose stuff on after I've cleaned this up. Right, I'm back. I did Google it and it said about 30 minutes, so I've left it for 30 minutes. The one thing I did notice was that it didn't stain anything. I don't know if that's just this colour or whether it's the product, but it didn't stain anything. Right, I'm going to wash it off and we'll see. Then I'm going to dry it and then we'll come back and put the permanent or the pink one. Well, I'm back and I'm pretty disappointed because to be honest, I know it looks pinky in the viewfinder. It isn't really very pinky in real life. It's amazing how different the colour looks in the viewfinder as to what it does here. I'm going to let you have a look at the back. You can see underneath the difference in the colours. It's definitely more brown than pink. That's probably a truer, truer colour there. So, I'm pretty disappointed. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go on to another video. We'll do another video because I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I've just been in to say, look, and although it does look pinkish, it is definitely more brown 
than pink. It has got a couple of pink tones in it, but it, it looks more brown than pink. So, I've had this in my cupboard for a while. This is a Schwarzkopf Purple Punk. This is semi-permanent. So, I'm gonna do that in the next video. So, see you in a few minutes. Bye for now.